Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome. As your soul family read, this is a weekend read for the weekend of the 22nd to the 24th of October. And here I'm using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot, and I am very much trying to channel the High Priestess. I don't know if you see a resemblance, but this is the hollow bone, so something to shoot for. I like this deck, it's kind of big, and uh, I think you can see it a little better. And I'll note uh, that I'm I'll read the bottom of the deck. I'm going to do a little different reading for the weekend. And I'm going to use what I normally use, the spread for the singles reading. which is called Meet the Soulmate for totally single people. Uh, because what I use is the four pillars. And the four pillars of relationship are emotional, intellectual, sexual, and love. And core values and lifestyle. Those aspects of life, I believe, if you can connect all three of those consciously, sort of. No, not sort of consciously be aware and, it, and have all of those in some kind of alignment, you know, with a partner. I mean, you're off, doesn't mean maybe you're going to get married, but damn, I think then you're really off to a good start. And, um, you know, um, it's all, you know, it's never perfect. Um, but for this reading, what I'm going to do is use the same spread to look at all of the areas of our lives just with eight cards. And I'll clarify if needed. And um, get an idea of kind of where we're at. It's a pretty important weekend, you know. It's all Libra, man. We're deep into Libra season. We got the Libra uh, full moon, uh, Libra new moon. We had, we got the Mercury retrograde and Libra huge, huge, huge. I mean, by the way, there's links on my channel. Uh, just last weekend, I did all 12 signs and put them out. A special Mercury retrograde reading that goes back and examines by sign. Anyone that might be in your mind, you can't get them out, you know, the one that got away energy. Just to, not to go back to them, or you're probably not even involved with them, but to understand that energy for our own purposes of growth and spiritual growth and emotional growth. So now we'll look at the intellectual nature here. Death, wow. I mean the emotional. This is the emotional nature. Typically also, the way I would read this is this would go back to... Uh, I'm going to see how much I have to pull away from the way I typically read it. But in the emotional column, and here is kind of the conscious versus the unconscious. Um, this is Scorpio energy very clearly, Pluto energy very clearly, transformational energy very clearly. It rings a bell with me. And I do believe, if you're watching this reading, I want to say it's kind of for light workers, uh, whatever, however you conceive of yourself, energy workers, uh, people that are on some kind of spiritual path. And this is how I conceive of it. And it's why I call it the soul family. Terrence McKenna, find the others. So I feel like I can read myself into this because if, if this is happening with me, there's going to be a group of people in the world, there's 8 billion of us now, most, right? That are going to be uh, relating to this. And really, that you are soul family. I don't think there's any accidents anymore at all. Certainly anyone you book up with, uh, give birth to, these are all deeply connected soul pieces of our own soul, our soul family. And probably anyone you bump into the street and talk to, watch on a tarot reading, there's some kind. I mean, the mind of God is fantastic, you know. Uh, but God, I love getting that right there, and it does ring a bell. Uh, three of Wands in the emotional area. Yeah. So, here's what I get out of this really strong. Um, we've been in a process of um, transformation for a long time. I believe the energy, a lot of energy workers saying this, not just me been getting stronger and stronger we're now banging crystal and white light and as our entire galaxy moves through a different area of space this is science it's not science fiction it's not uh, woo woo you know um, any energy does change and so that's what's been happening it's still happening it's going to keep happening i think you can call it the aquarian age it's going to go on for thousands of years it's a new age and I believe it's scouring out a lot of the low vibrational energy. I, it's not really a joke. I think the reptilians are done here. And thank you very much. You can uh, just go ahead and leave. You know, because I've been saying for years, every time you smile, the reptilian goes hungry. This is, a, this is all the massive negativity. There is no shortage of housing. There's no shortage of food. There is no shortage of medical care. All of this people should have is basic. It's so basic. And, you know, I believe it is this very low vibrational hold, call it what you want. If there's not reptilians, there damn well should be because it's a perfect metaphor that sucks up our negative energy like some kind of food. I believe they love potato chips. For them is fear. You just look at our society. Fear, 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 especially in America. 
It's like, Jesus Christ, land of the free and home of the brave. How ironic. It's like they're laughing at you, America. Americans, how American. They're laughing at us. Ha, ha, ha. Sing it. Get your little children to sing it and wave the flag around it before they're at the age of reason. Like, literally brainwash your children to worship this cult, you know, with a flag. It's, I think it's just a sickness. And everybody thinks I'm crazy, but to me, it's just truly a madness. But I think Pluto return is coming for the United States of America, guys. It's real. Astrology is huge. It's going to be over. It's going to hit 2024. It's walking up to it now. I mean, I swear you can see the vibrations. What is a Pluto return? Transformation of self. What is death? Transformation of self. Scorpio, Pluto, that's what all that is. Pluto return. By 2026, I don't know exactly how it's going to shake out, but the United States of America will not look like it does now. It'll be a different thing. And it's mainly hitting, and from what I'm, I'm watching other astrologers looking at, there's one chart particularly which seems to be the go-to chart uh, for the event of America. Um, and it, you know, it certainly looks like it's hitting in the house of government. So literally, I think what we're looking at is a change in government. All I can say is good riddance, but if you just change one government for another uh, government, it, you might as well just go and jerk off in a field. It accomplishes nothing. There has to be a fundamental change. And I think it can happen with this low vibrational energy being scoured away by the energies coming in. And I think that's what I'm seeing here with the Three of Wands. It's amazing because the Three of Wands, it's, it's looking, it's opening up. It's like, to me, it's very good energy. It's actions. And it's wanting to come back alive and look around. And I think we've been getting hammered by this energy. Now, I say we. I don't know you. I know a lot of people, though. I work with a lot of psychics. I've done their charts. You know, I know how this works. And uh, a lot of them are getting hammered and have been getting hammered. And I mean physically and can be emotionally. And I think we're just coming out of the throes of this. The 8 eight lion's gaze was, the, was that was the cracker. You know, and, you know, Saturn Uranus all year with banging that square. That's a crack and crack in the nut, opening things up. I think this is getting ready. We're going to uh, blossom, guys. The transformation is going to end. The pupae, we're going to bust out of our pupae. We're going to be a moth or butterfly picket. I don't know. I'm kind of down for the moth because I'm not really a night person. but very romantic. So kind of like the idea of drying my new wings in the bright moonlight, you know. Um, but anyway, we'll be able to fly away. And I think the energy is going to be amazingly lighter, you know, number one, um, once this is fully um, over, which I think is very close. The eclipses are coming uh, for Sagittarius. That's my, that's me um, in December. And then everything will really be rolling, starting to roll forward, almost everything. And boy, I think um, uh, 2022 is going to be a banging year. Um and not necessarily bad, it just depends on where you're at, you know. But things are going to pop, the energy's going to pop, three of wands, boom, boom. Now this is in your intellectual position. Six of cups, you're a spiritual person, you're on a soul journey. The six of cups is like I stand sometimes on the beach, any beach, and I look out into the ocean, even since I was a little kid, I had this weirdest feeling of deja vu. And I just look out in the ocean and look around and say, I've been here before. Standing on a shoreline, looking out onto this water. This is not our first dance. And this is someone that knows it's in your core of your intellect, your understanding. You know this. Wow. What did I tell you? It's not over yet. We're right at the end of the pupae stage. And we're about to crack that shell open and fly away. Four weeks, four months, four weeks, four months. I think in four weeks, it's going to start cracking, really. I've been saying that and saying that. A lot of people pointing at October for years and years because of the astrology and the transits, and the energy right now on so many levels, and Pluto return coming. This is when things will start to crack open. Often they're speaking in their Aquarian way, I believe, of the collective but this i like to look at personal as my thing and there's plenty of people to do that so how but same thing is going on with us something's cracking something's breaking open uh me is my fifth house uh, to my ninth house energy is really where it's hitting um sixth house to ninth house uh, as i mean um and it makes all kind of sense for me uh, but this is part of the end of the transformation process here it's really pretty clear to me. It's not, this isn't a real subtle uh, reading. Uh, thank you for that, Spirit. Um, Knight of Cups, sexual love energy. 
um, and the Knight of Cups is pointing into the future, and the Knight of Cups is pointing to your lifestyle core values. We are aligning ourselves with our lifestyle core values, with our spiritual values, and we'll see here with our work. We are aligning ourselves. This is what this transformation is. When we're done with it, people don't understand it. Most people, they're not going to understand. If you have someone, anyone in your life that understands this, then you're blessed. I don't think we get more than one or two really good friends, you know, um, because it's not something that there, anyone would see maybe on the outside yet, you know, but what little bit of it they did see, they probably aren't going to understand it because this goes deep. You know, you're someone on a soul's journey. You understand that what's happening is happening to your soul, not happening to your ego, David. That's the big, that's the big one. Once we kind of cross that Rubicon, uh, things look a little different. Doesn't really change anything. Same shit's happening. Sometimes it sucks. But you know now that, ah, this is what's happening to my soul. This is what my soul is here to learn and how my soul is here to grow. What all relationships are about. It's all over astrology. It's all over your chart. Do consider reading, okay? I love to do, uh, I do basically natal readings, and I do transit readings, and I do sinistry readings. And I love doing all of them. Um, one of the sinistry things I've been offering, just for the regular price, it's a lot of work, but if you can give me the dates and times of two other three X's, um, male or female, however that works, and that you had interest in, and then I go in and look at all of them and look for patterns, so... Because sinistry, it, it, it's a, it, that's a, that right there, because I think that's the best use of sinistry. Look at ourselves, look at our own patterns, you know. But you would be someone going forward with this Knight of Cups, leading with your heart, having an open heart, being emotionally available, not afraid. You're a knight, you're Mars energy, you're not afraid to be vulnerable, you know, um, because you're, you're not going to let anyone overwhelm you. I mean, you, once you come from this deeply spiritual place, it's uh, like... A lot of things are not going to phase you, you know. You're very focused, and oh my God, with the Ace of Wands. Guys, I don't know if you believe this or not. You're getting laid. I don't know. You're going to have this sex of your life, and you've got the night. I just want to cry. Ah, I'm going to be in some Scorpio. <sighs> Works for me. Um, this is amazing. This Ace of Wands, and it's not quite as phallic as a lot of them. So it shows here a very deep emotional kind of connection. It's kind of cancer energy. I swear to God, if you look at your composite chart, cancer's got to be important. You guys might have a cancer moon, cancer Venus together, cancer sun together. It, the coolest thing you could have is a cancer ascendant. I love the cancer ascendant relationship. So that means in your composite chart, which combines your two charts at midpoints is the best way, and um, you look and see what your ascendant is and if it's cancer because look this is coming in with ten of cups too your overall energy is a lot of emotion here it's the ten of cups you want you want ten of cups you know, i know this is not supposed to be a relationship read but i'm sorry it's going this way and i when i before i sat down to do this i thought about what i want to do for the weekend i was telling myself this does not have to be a lover okay it really doesn't but but the Ace of One here, so it does imply that. It's hard for me not to see this. It's in the core sexual position. It's a phallus. It's hot. It's new. It's under the Knight of Cups. This Knight of Cups is very sincere. This is not a fly-by Knight of Cups. It's coming from the Six of Cups. This very well may be, I hate to say this during Mercury Retrograde. Check out the Mercury Retrograde readings I put up last week weekend, okay? They're on my channel uh, by sign and see if something doesn't ring a bell. But there was, it surprised me because it wasn't my intention, but there was one or two of those readings that kind of indicated that yes, you should get back with this Mercury retrograde person. And I was like, hmm, well, you know, I learned something. Uh, it was my intention, but I always let the cards guide me and spirit guides me. Uh, and that, no, no, no problem. Um, but you may have been, uh, depending on your sign, I think Gemini was one, might have been another. Um, but this person very well could come from the past. If they don't come from the past, and this is my experience right now, um, they come from the soul past. Again, I do sinistry. Uh, I look at the sinistry of you two and the times, and you know you see it all right there. But I'm more and more leaning towards evolutionary astrology and looking at things from a spiritual level. But um, you see, you see all of it, and this is going to be 
Either way, if they're presenting a physical past, my sense is more likely they're a soulmate. You're going to recognize them instantly. You're going to have sex fast. I don't care if you never did that before. You guys are going down fast <laughs> in, in hard in hot. You're going to, you know, not crash and burn. You got Ten of Pentacles here. Very solid. This is us, guys. Okay? This is in our core values and lifestyle. I'm telling you right here, death, transformation, soulmate, energy, Knight of Cups moving forward forcefully, Mars energy with our emotions, with our sense of love into the Ten of Pentacles. This is the perfect energy. You know, you're solid, just solid. You don't need anything. If you need something, you get it. You don't want for things. And being very solid here. This is after the transformation, which is imminent, guys. Four weeks, four weeks. And look at this, Four of Wands. I swear to God, guys, the Four of Wands under the Ten of Pentacles, this is the building of a long-term committed relationship, the building of a marriage, it's actions, wands, the building of. That's what that means to me. I have to emphasize it. So that means that this probably is not happening yet, but what's coming in here is this person that's going to light up, light you up in every way, um, bone to soul, let's say. Um, they're going to be very solid. You're going to be very solid together. And you guys are heading towards a long-term committed relationship or marriage, okay? I don't care what you say. <laughs> you, you are. You are. It's, it, this is a, such a clear reading. It's like Spirit didn't want uh, to have any, um, didn't want me to blow it in any way. I mean, so, so straightforward to me. Um, there's nothing here to clarify, okay? Um, it's beautiful and it's uh, coming again for four weeks a lot of things are popping now just the best thing to do is uh, uh, vibe high vibe high you know every time you smile reptilian dies and then we need them to die <laughs>